Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to actually go and do the distillation tower, but first we're going to have a look at a few little quirks, I'll call, describe them as, in immersive engineering. So let's get on and do that first of all. So here's a little setup I would like to demonstrate. And I'm going to show is the basically these redstone wires and these redstone connectors. So we can connect these up like this, no big deal. And we can connect these up. So for example, if we connect that one to there and that one to there, and these across like this, it just basically links them all together. We can do it up here like that. So now one of the problems with these is when they break, you can you can easily replace them at the moment. So let's just do that first of all. Let's take out the the engineer's wire cutters and just cut this wire in the middle here like that. Get it? Yep. And we can put this back on here again, no problem whatsoever, like that. Now, if I now exit the game and do the same thing again, so let's say what's happened is that something's grown up. For example, what the classic one that I've been suffering from is bone mealing stuff like this. So we can put this down here like that and bone meal it up, and it breaks the, that link. Okay, it's not the only thing that breaks that cable. Something else that breaks the cable is um, get rid of these stuff. It's pollution, so I'll have a look at that in a minute. So what I'm going to do now is just exit the game and come back almost straight away without doing anything else. So that's fine. Now if I try to join these up, up again, let's just uh, move the bone wheel out of there and put the cable back in again. Well, right, so I'm a bit full, <laughs> inventory's a bit full. Let's put that there. Um, and then trying to click this one, you can't. It says you cannot attach a wire here, even though I've just done it a minute ago. Let's put that away. In fact, let's go and pick up these and put them into the chest. I'm just putting a few bits and pieces in this chest up here like this, just to get rid of them. Three. Like that. And the same can happen with pollution, but it doesn't happen here, for example. It should be okay. It'll only break the top wire. So let's go and make some pollution. So I'm going to use a smell trigger for that. And in the spell train, we're going to put some uh, gold armor. I've got some gold armor with me. Um, it's in the, it's in my backpack. Right here it is. Let's just see if I can move some stuff out of the way to get enough of this into place, like that. And then we can put all of this into this. Uh, I can't do it like that. I've got to do it like this, haven't I? And then that's all going into the smell train. It's going to start smelting. In fact, I'm getting quite a lot of gold and actually iron as well from the smelting armor that they've been getting so that's what that's all about so just by repairing the armor and putting in the spell tree it's no problem so what's going to happen now is we're going to get pollution and it should come up ah, it's already not the first one off as you just saw it doesn't knock, it won't knock this one off at all but it oh, well unless it builds goes all the way down to that but it will make pollution here no problem whatsoever and knock that wire off if we should be able to retire attach this wire again In fact, it's even being allowed to attach them there. And we should be able to not attach that to there because we can't attach the wire because it's existing between the previous sessions. So any any more any second, not in a few seconds, we'll get another block of pollution coming out of here. Um, and that happens every time. So what I've got is a worker, and we're going to have a look at that next. As soon as this, uh, I think it's maybe it's finished smelting that stuff. In which case, we're not going to get another block of pollution. But just to make sure we don't lose this, I'm going to just remove it. And that one's okay. This one's already gone, so it's no big deal. Now there is a workaround for this. <laughs> it's a bit. It's not perfect because it depends on the direction. So we're going to have a look at that as well. So I'm going to go off to the jungle base uh, now, and I'll see you in a few seconds when I'm there. So we're that we're here. So let's have a look downstairs here, and you can see what I've been doing here. I've been putting fences. So if there's a block of pollution that gets created from anything in here and it stays on the ceiling, and then this post will just push it down one block and it doesn't seem to knock off these these cables, which have been giving me quite a few problems. Now the other one I was doing was the a generator here and this wasn't working at all well. That basically FF basically means it's full. So everything in here will be filled up enough. Yeah, not 100% full, but it should be giving us a signal of 12, I think, is what the, the limit was. That's actually 14, and this one over here, I can't get around there. So easily, I can this way. 
and this one's 13. 13 was actually the limit, so maybe I'll put some more stuff in here since I last used it. So now we can, the way to do it is to simply put some redstone down like this. Huh. It's, uh, it's limited. You can't do it everywhere because these ones here are inputs and this one is bi-directional. So this is, that's coming, these ones up here, are, for example, are inputs. Um, well, these are just relays. But the ones on the f connecting over here are actually inputs. So this will be, I can't remember what mode it is. Someone should tell me, let's get the hammer into my hand. In fact, I haven't got enough space. So let's, I wonder if I can put something in here. Yes, I should be able to put that X. Can I put that? No, I can put this in there. That's no problem. So let's put the tool, let's put this down here like this. So we have that in our hand. It should tell us what mode we're in. So that's actually an output. It's one direct, and the, this one's an, an output, but this one here is an input and an output. So you've got to be smart about how you connect these up. So, in fact, in this case, I'm not doing it, but if I try to connect any redstone cables to any of these, then nothing will connect. I can, cannot attach here, as you can see. Cannot attach any end to any point. So what you have to do is break the cables. Now, I can break this cable here now, but that's without any problem. So let's just do that. Now I can connect the wire back up again. Oh, yes, I have to do it to the same place. Try again. You cannot watch to the same point, right, from there to there. And then it's back. So that allows you to do some work here if it's the right type of configuration. A bit tricky, not very clean, and it's a very irritating bug as it happens. In fact, these then don't have to be the same colours. As long as that pair is the same colour, this is going to get the signal from the from here. If I come along here and turn the generator, it's so currently on, and it's inverted. So we turn it off, and this should, signal should be, actually should be on, shouldn't it? But that's not working. And it happens, I think, all of the time. It's not reliable, this bit. See, it hasn't changed the signal. It should have done. Why hasn't it changed the signal? Everything's connected up correctly. I don't know, but it doesn't work. So quite often I just replace it and put a lever on it instead, <laughs> unless you get on with it like that. So that's it for the the problems of uh, immersive engineering. So let's now go and build this um, distillation tower. I'll be back in a few seconds when it's daytime. Right, as you can see, the, the pump jack's still running. Now I could have done this, and I forgot to do this last time can take the, a connection from here and bring it across to say for example this like that and that'll work so now the pump jack's running actually be running at about full speed full speed is not very fast but it's a bit faster than it was now that's actually taking power and it, you'd expect it to be taking power from here but it's not it's got still 98 9.8 ifl in there so the other place it's probably taking it from is here because this is where it's all connected up to this battery box actually the battery box looks okay too but the voltage is definitely going down as you can see so that must be put this is putting power into that capacitor bank and i suspect the battery box is doing too so it's not a practical solution because that's only generating something in the order of 10 um rf per tick or if per tick so it's not going to last very long, so I'm better break this off. That's why I didn't do it. But at least you can see the pump jack running at a better speed. Now, of course, you stop it, it's, it's stopped. And in here we've got, um, uh, I haven't got any more buckets because I used the last bucket up making something else. Maybe I've got a bucket in here I can use. Um, I think I should have some iron ingots about. No, I'm not 100% sure because I did actually use the iron ingots for doing something else as well. Great. Um, there must be downstairs. I've got at least three. And you'll notice that today my chests are back again. So we need a bucket to so see how full that tank is. And I'm pretty sure it's already full. So We won't need that, we'll just use the bucket. So it's full, as you can see, even though this is pump to continuous, continuing to pump. So now we need to put this um, distillation tower down. 
Now it's quite a big, big thing. This. Let's have a look at it first of all. That's its size. So it needs all of these things which you've already got. We talked about that last time actually. We can stop this one and pause it. And then we can, basically that's not paused. And then we can take it at one level at a time to see where it is. Now the side that is actually, um, that we need the pipe is here. This will be the output or the input to the installation tower. Now that can, we can connect that to here, no problem. So let's just put that into the projector. I've got the projector with me, so we should be able to see this coming up. And as you can see, so we need to rotate that. So there it is. And in fact, it looks like that's a reasonably good position. Let's right click that and just check that we're not going into the farm. We're not great. So now we just put the, the bits down and actually build this up. I'm going to do the first layer with you, but and then after that, I'm just going to make a pause. I don't think you really want to see me spending my time building this thing anyway, but we could do one or two of these bits when I'm here, can't we? So I've put one in the wrong place there. Never mind. Ah, oh, there. Because you've got to do the ones on the floor, not the ones you're actually looking at. So we need one pipe. And we need two heavy engineering blocks. One goes here, and the other one goes. So we can do that. Ah, that's interesting. It actually did let me put it in even with the wrong block in. I hadn't realised you would do that. Let's just break this block away and put the right one in. Like that. Now it's complaining that I've got the wrong one here, which of course it was a mistake. Didn't intend to put that one down. But this is where we put the iron sheet metal coming along here. Um, Yep, I'll see you in a few seconds when this is done. Right, it's built, as you can see, the green rectangle around it. In fact, the easiest way to get down this is probably, um, it's got a, it's got a built-in scaffolding all the way down here, so we could use that to climb up and down. But I think it's probably safe to use the wooden, I've got a wooden one here separately, so I can just sort of walk onto that, and then it just goes down it like that. And it's quite a long drop, so we don't want to fall down that, not it. To finish this off, all we need to do is to simply right click the redstone block with the hammer and we should have formed the distillation tower. Fantastic. Let's just move this into the out of the hot bar and we can see it. Yeah, it's uh, quite a machine. So all we need to do now is just simply connect this up. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. I didn't put it in exactly the right place for the pipes, but that's going to be normal, I guess. So let's just connect it like this. And then this should be getting... I don't think it needs power. Oh, yes, it does, look. I'm not sure how much power it's going to need. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm just going to break this, I'll break this down and move it. Cause it's not in the right places. I can see that. So I'll quickly break this down. If I've got my axe, well, then it should work. This one's probably a bit strong, but uh, it'll do. I can put this down later on. The lumber axe. So as you can see, so now it needs power. I don't know how much power it needs. I've got to be honest with you. We'll, what we'll do is we'll try um, high voltage power. Maybe that'll work. I've got my, I put this off to do this, some storage stuff and magnetism. So let's see if we can do this with the, get this out of the way, put in here. Let's see if it'll actually run off HV. So an HV connector is this one, and then we need an HV wire, which is this one. And we can take the wire from this re relay over here. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, something I haven't tried, probably should do a save before I do this, because <laughs> there's quite a lot of work involved in getting this thing up, isn't it? I don't think it's going to blow up them. Let's just try it. I think it needs a reasonably large amount of power. So we should be able to link that to there, like that. And then, have we got enough power in this thing? It looks like it's not working again. I think that we have no power here. Great. So now we're going to have to either try medium voltage. And I guess the medium voltage is also not going to work. Let's just remove this one here like that. And then break the connector.
So now we can try medium voltage. We have got the transformer. I think we've got the transformer with this. I'm not sure. No, it's not in there. I'm just wondering if I can test it better. Yes, I do have a capac I do have one down tie. So that's HV transformer. I also have a, an MV capacitor down here. Let's use this MV capacitor and see whether or not that works. Because it's working for these machines. So I don't see why it wouldn't work for the other one. Um, actually, that will be awkward, I think. This is MV wire. Let's just see if we can actually link. Before I break it, I've got to make sure I can link things to it again. Because that also fails sometimes when you between things. So if we can link this one to here like this. Yes, we can link this one. So it's safe to break this. Because I have seen that also being the case. But you can't do that. Now we need a um, pickaxe. Yes, good. Now, of course, that's going to give no power in here. But that doesn't matter very much. We can put this back as soon as we've tested it. And see how we get on with this. Now, I don't want to make it a very long episode. And it's probably getting on towards night time. So what we need to do here is to put down a MV capacitor. We can put it on here as it happens. Let's do that. And it'll be should have plenty of energy in. Like that, it's got an output on this face, that's perfect. So we should then be simply be able to connect this in. Um MV wire connectors and insulated MV wire, that's good. I've got a funny feeling that it might not work, but because of the way uh, immersive petroleum doesn't seem to be doing this now, that's a lot. Ah, oh, yes, it does work. So we can use that. Great. So let's so we can then break this again now. And then we can connect quite safely the HV capacitor. Let's put that down here, I think. Let's put it down here. Now, I think this thing automatically rotates when you connect the wires up or the cables up. So let's put down that's low voltage, don't want that one, that's medium voltage. Let's put this one down here like this. Connect that to that, that looks correct. And then we'll take a high voltage one and connect that over here. Hopefully it will connect. Yes, it will, good. And in fact, the wires haven't crossed. You can't turn it around once you put it, place it down. I think you have to either place it the other way around or whatever. But anyway, this is working. So now all it now needs is, is oil. Now, why does it not have any oil in there? Tell you what, it's night time. I shall come back because we're not that well protected here compared to the other place. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I should notice that I've got a red dot on it, shouldn't I? That's the output. So, um, the input's here. Let's just reconnect this up again, and we should then start to see some. I think we've yeah, I've placed it well, good. Uh, it hasn't connected into that, but it did connect into here. So where's the input then? Ah, oh, here was the input. Oh, right, okay. So that's a little bit more difficult, but not impossible. And in that case, I should have rotated it around when I was building it, but I didn't. To break this off, this will be where the this will be where the bitumen comes out, or the for the asphalt, and this will be um, for other outputs. So how can I get this to go around here? I've got plenty of space, so that's no plenty of pipes, that's no problem. But we only want to demonstrate it, don't we? So let's just connect that up through here like that. Oh, maybe we can do this. If I actually, oops, wrong one. Let's remove that one. If I actually connect this one up here, like this, and then we should be able to break any, yes. So that's now connected. We don't want this to connect here. Let's just try it that way. <laughs> Hopefully I can break these three. Let's just see if I can. Now what you do to break this, you hit the flange, I think, here. Right click it, and that disconnects it, like that and right click this flange here and then it's disconnected so we've got the input going out of here so what's happening now let's have a look oh i just saw a flash of something happening here orange it's, there we go again it should have enough power 
Ah, oh, no, we won't have enough power with it because we're not running the diesel engine. Let's go and start the diesel engine. In fact, the diesel engine should be running. So what I should do... Oh. I've lost this cable up here. Why? There should have been a cable connected across from here to here. I'll tell you what, I'll fix this and come back in a few seconds. Well, I've fixed it. I've basically taken the cable through here and going through these capacitor banks here and they should be linked up. So this has got 4 million RF or IF in it and this one then is connecting up through here going across to this one which is then going to another relay which should be going to the outside over here. It's hard to see. Let's just remove this block here and have a look. Yes, we can just see the cable connecting through there. Uh, so it should be connected up outside now. Uh, and it should have power. Let's go and check that. It's probably night time. No, just about just about no time. And you can see it's flashing. Now I've got a feeling that it's still not getting very much power out of here. So let's go and turn the generator on and make sure we are getting power. Oops, try again. So this should be on this switch is on that should be definitely on so I'm going to just break that thing and then um, this one here is for the pump so I need to use, get another lever out of somewhere hopefully I've got one probably haven't actually I have to probably not make one so I've got one in there or maybe I've got one in this chest here I can't see one there let's have to make one quickly I've got plenty of cobblestone around anyway let's make a lever and then put that downstairs uh, and connect up there the generator make sure the generator is working i'll probably have a quick sleep as well because that means i'm going over my time so that's connected through there and these should all be connected up ah oh, yes i've just seen it go down a little bit so that is then draining power out of these so we can then come along here and turn the generator back on again the generator should stop I have to put them in my hot bar down the right one, like this. Now the generators, I've changed this configuration of this, so that it puts the stuff outside. Let's quickly have a sleep. I mean, over the um, farm. I extended it. I changed the forge uh, and, the, and, the, and the tech library, so it should be producing, actually it's probably finished, turned off. So it produces some pollution, it goes up there, and then that will come over to these two farms. So it increases the amount of um, production of the items. Now I'm going to change this one. I'm going to change this one to potatoes. You may have noticed I've got some Serene Seasons greenhouse glass, which then takes away the season effect. So therefore we can grow potatoes all year round, and actually that's one of the best... Yes, it's going on and off, just very slowly. <laughs> so we can turn that off again. And I, what I'm going to do here next is I'm going to set up a few more capacitors so they're all linked together. And I think you just have to basically connect them from underneath to top. I'm not sure they have to. I think they don't form a multi-block. Um, but I'm sure that they did do or something like that. I, I can't really shift-click those. Only shift-clicks are the outside of those. So it doesn't work. So you can right-click it. It will do this face. So I don't know if there's a way to make those multi-block structure and then use the same redstone logic as I used before to do to drive this thing so now we should have let's have a look didn't open up the GUI ah yes here we've got some gasoline some diesel and some lubricant okay so there is another way of making lubricant so all we need to do is take those three out of there and put those into um, doesn't say I've got much oil because of course I haven't ah that's what the problem is Yes, let's quickly go and fix that. Because I've got a tank here. And the default for this tank is to output from the from the bottom. So all I have to do is put it on the top here, like that. And then we should see this. Yes, now it's got enough fuel in here. So it's actually then going to be working uh, quite well. And as you can see, it's using a reasonable amount of power. And that's actually going up. But it doesn't tell me how much does it... Oh, yes, it does, actually. It tells me that I've got quite a lot of lubricant in here. Now, I guess that we just put a bucket in. I don't know how we get this out of here. Maybe we just put a bucket in here like that, and it'll take a bucket out. 
what's it got a gasoline bucket so i guess i have to take it out from the bottom and then because of the way uh, immersive engineering pipes work we just need to put on maybe an item router here and it should just work all the way across so that's it for this episode let's go to a place we can actually see the tower so as i said that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it um next time i'm going to be doing some um i think i'm definitely going to do some, do some bees next time because there's some interesting bees around and some of them are tough very tough to get so until then bye for now